next few years. Seamless experience for users and enterprises, social, business intelligence, big data, composite applications, visualization. This is the future of tech. I predict wearable computers and SiliconANGLE will have a Hadoop distribution. <laughs> um, great stuff. That's a joke, by the way. I know. That's why I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> George, Matthew, thank you so much for coming on Side the Cube. We really appreciate it. Thank you thank again. Thank you for your time. Appreciate Good it. Good job. Uh, business intelligence uh, is great. I'm John Furrier with SiliconANGLE.TV the world leader in tech event live coverage. This is theCUBE, where we extract all the knowledge out of, out of the guests and have great conversations around technology and share that knowledge with you. Um, next up is Mark Risen Hopkins, and I will talk about some news. And uh, you're good? Thank you're you good? Man. Okay. Um, here at Sapphire, big story is um, real-time applications, real-time web, um, real-time everything. I mean, business intelligence is at the heart of real-time data. Um, you see you're hearing data as the key theme, and uh, we're no stranger to where computer science meets social science. That's been our model for two years. Uh, we're the first tech blog out there as the reference point for computer science and social science. Mark Risen Hopkins, editor of the site. Mark, we've been, we've been covering uh, the intersection of computer science and social science for over two years. Yes. That uh, concept has been picked up by Steve Jobs. Mm -hmm. Technology meets liberal arts. Right. Now big data meets cloud at EMC. The theme here at Sapphire is fast data meets cloud and mobility. This yeah. is our wheelhouse. It, oh, it's, it's, it's great. I mean, it, and it's, it's fine. It's fun to be talking about something and just see it bubble up in, in the actual marketplace. And uh, something has been fun for me because you, you've been here on air and you've been talking to these guests here in the weeds, and I get to kind of look at uh, the output from our from our editorial team, and, and they've been doing a great job, and just seeing what they pick up on out of the interviews that we do, uh, and some of the ways that they're they're framing this is just really interesting. Like the the in conversation you had with Ray Wang was uh, that was it, the the thing that they all keyed in on was the the VMware discussion you had there and uh, so I mean the, uh, the yeah headline. we got great we got great uh, coverage back at the home ranch with all of our writers and analysts I um, mean you know I'm really impressed with the Wikibon team they're really kicking butt great best analysts uh, in real time SiliconAngle.com writers are pounding away there's no doubt that the cube throws out some serious content and um, you know some of the headlines uh, you know what are some of the headlines on on the site today so okay well obviously a lot of uh, Sapphire content. The last few that have come up, we've had some uh, discussion from uh, Stephen Hodson and Kit Dotson both on the uh, Nokia rumor, Nokia acquisition rumor. Uh, Bert Lattimore has been pumping out uh, interview summaries. He, the last one that just went up. Love Bert. Yeah, great. I mean, he, he, he just lives for this stuff. That's what I love about Bert. He just lives for live events. He's a great coverage. teammate. Bert Lattimore posting on the Wikibon and SiliconANGLE site. Great resource. Bert, shout out to you if you're watching. I know you're watching. Yes. Um, we really appreciate it. You're an ace for us. You're a core team member, and getting those posts up make a big difference for our readers who don't have time to sit through these interviews uh, live with us. So he, he actually just wrote, uh, wrote up an uh, interview from yesterday with Tony uh, Pag uh, Pagliari. Yeah, and whose cousin plays for the Yankees. Yes, exactly. And uh, the, so this is, this is his angle on it. It's 85% virtualization. You mentioned Joe Tucci. 85% uh, virtualization shifts EMC's IT budget ratio to 50% innovation. Yeah, I mean, Dave Vellante has been covering this stuff for, you know, years. And, you know, the mode of uh, IT, Mark, has been 70% is running the business, operations, mm -hmm. lights, facilities, power. And we heard the CIO from Pacific, um, you know, builders company say, you know, he, you know, he wants to get out of the facilities business right. and get in more of the strategic business. We heard from the CIO of SAP themselves that IT cannot go into the siloed ops mode because... If it does, it doesn't become strategic. Right. And so that real-time web analytics, business intelligence message that SAP is promoting has been fantastic. Mm -hmm. What other news do we have out there? So, you know, security has been a recurring theme, especially with all the cloud fails lately. And uh, there is actually, uh, and this kind of touches on the gaming stuff too, Square Enix uh, recorded a breach of 25,000 uh, contact points uh, through a website breach, which really bad news since they're so deeply in bed with with Sony another PR hit for that platform so uh, I mean 
yeah. uh, another cloud fail. Yeah, it's, it's you know it's incredible is that you know security and privacy are hot buttons. Pat Gelsinger said in the cube, you solve security, you solve mm -hmm. privacy. But I think on the public cloud, people don't realize there is a underbelly in the web, and that's there's some bad guys out there. And you know, as Sam Curry says, the internet is a frontier with no inherent security. <laughs> that's true. Love that quote. Love that quote. And you know, he talks about the dark cloud. You guys have been following that. You guys uh, on the team, so appreciate that. Um, other news looks like the site's flowing. Again, we got the new site. You can hit most recent top stories. Um. So uh, most of our top stories have been uh, SAP related, but the recent the recent stream uh, has some stuff. Okay, so we've got the their take on the uh, the Amazon dual core tablets that you mentioned earlier in one of the news breaks. Uh, Isha Suri wrote that up. Now, uh, and of course, Krista Nicole wrote up the the LinkedIn IPO story. Uh, has and she has some views from other. Uh, other pundits and, and, and bloggers that weighed in on that. Basically, everyone crying bubble. That's That seems to be the, the Oh, consensus. come on. LinkedIn? I mean, they've got a solid business. I mean, I, I think there's no bubble on the IPO side. Once you go public, you got to be profitable. The IPO market's hard to get into. And, um, you know, I think I don't think this is going to be a bubble. I mean, there's well, definitely... Well, I mean, I, every time someone mentions bubble, especially, because uh, it's come up a couple times today, I keep thinking back to that Andy, a conversation with Andy Kessel you had on Extraction Point. When he talks about how how so much of the so-called bubble is linked to Fed interest rates, yeah. it really doesn't have as much to do with you know the the traditional uh, framing of a bubble, like uh, like it was the first time around the dot-com boom. Okay, our next guest, Mark Milford, Vice President of Business Development for SAP. Mark Risen Hopkins bringing us the latest news on his Kindle. That's now the trademark of the Cube. I'm John Furrier with SiliconAngle.com and SiliconAngle.tv, and I'm here with. I'm Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org, the uh, open source research company, and Mark Milford is the 